Torch is PFG TV. <laughs> oh my God, live at the Plus in downtown Oak Clear in our economy furniture suite, which is beautiful. David, economy furniture, we love you for this. So it's just such a beautiful thing. Oh, you guys, welcome to the show. Thank you all for coming yes, out tonight. Thank you guys. Chicago. That's a city in Illinois, just so you know. We had a good time. It was one of those things. We're going to hit them. This is a video we did earlier on the YouTube channel. We know we've had some issues. We're trying to take care of all those. You guys that are, you, you what do you call it, keyboard cowboys, come out here and you try to do this stuff. A live TV show that's never been done before. You know what? You'll laugh up a lot more than we will, believe it's me. Insane. And you know what? This is the beginning of the future. The reason Mike and I went to Chicago was to pick up a piece of equipment that we needed desperately for the show. And it's working amazingly, so that was fun. On the way to Chicago, we stopped in Schaumburg, Illinois, at this Asian market. I thought it said international market, so I always like supermarkets. Yeah, It's one of those things, no matter where I go, when I visit a new city, I love visiting supermarkets. Oh, yes. I love to see the bakery. There's no coughing in the room. I love to I love to see bakeries. I love to see delis and vegetable Those areas. Those are hot case. So we went into this international food market. It was an Asian market. When I tell you the things we saw, Mike, Mike, you got what? Chicken what? Braised chicken feet. Braised chicken feet potato chips. Okay, made by Lay's. I mean, these were Lay's oh, potato Lays. chips. Okay, yes. amazingly enough. Now, some of the things I saw, like I saw these chips right here, which I liked because of the name. These are hot pot chips. It turns out it had nothing to do with what I thought. Oh, no, <laughs> Even though later on in the day, I did have something to do with what I thought, so that was good. I also... I found these red, Italian red meat chips. And I thought I had seen it all till I saw these ones right here. These ones, and I showed Holly this earlier. Oh, yeah. These ones, braised duck tongue potato chips. And the bag, yeah. if you see, has a picture of the complete duck tongue. Yeah, the, like the tongue, you know, they told us, shows you the whole thing. So it's the tongue with... The, that actually goes down the throat. It's oh like God. they removed the whole, it's on the front of the potato chip bag. I mean, <laughs> true, I, I think it was called the International Food Mart. No one Mike else and I even. decided we want to go back sometimes. Truly, we could have spent hours and hours in the supermarket, but we had to go get this piece of equipment. And then something happened in Chicago that I'm still just smiling from ear to ear. I'm so happy. You talk about a fan. Look at I get goosebumps. No, he's so sick. You talk about a fanboy moment. <laughs> I, I didn't get a hold of him till that day. For those of you that don't know, Mr. Skin has been on with Scorch and Scorch, the radio show for 23 years. Well, after 23 years, I finally had the chance to meet Mr. Skin. He's a handsome man. He's handsome. There you are. There you are. Hey, what's going on? It's Scorch, and for those that don't know, you've heard him on the radio show for so many years. People don't understand, after 20-something years, we're finally meeting. Finally First met time. Him. We're finally meeting, have a couple of cocktails, <laughs> and we're meeting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my pal and our pal, Mr. Skin. So, uh, Skin, I want to shake your hand. Scorch, great to meet you. It is so nice to meet you. Nice hanging out with you. Thank you for everything you've done for the show and for us. And by the way, Scorch is PFG TV, Mr. Skin, coming soon to a show near you. Skin, I love you. Brother. You're awesome, Scorch. Thanks. Thanks, bro. So psyched. Mr. Skin is going to be coming up. You can make noise for that. Yes. Mr. Skin. The thing that's amazing about that is Mr. Skin agreed to come up to the show live. I said, I'll fly you in. He said, dude, you don't have to fly me in. I'll drive it. 
Uh, he's going to come up to the show like every month. He's going to come up and be on the show uh, live here in the, at the Plus. And that's a huge thing. So uh, that was just a beautiful thing. So what a trip to Chicago. What a great city. We went to a dispensary, and we found out that yeah. they sell THCA as regular herb. And we're not quite sure what to make of that. Yeah. We've been talking about this yeah, whole I, I, thing, and so the dispensaries are selling it, too. One of us that wasn't Mike spent $251 and uh, found out afterwards that it wasn't even real grass. So I was kind of bummed out about that. But we're going to talk about that another time. In the meantime, though, let's get right into things with today's round of Effed Up Facts. Shall we do that, huh? My favorite. Up Facts brought to you by Common Collected Cannabis Company in Chippewa. They are Chippewa Falls, excuse me. They are the official, the official, the official uh, uh, CBD Fishbowl. company uh, in Chippewa of Scorch's PFG TV. <laughs> what is that? My gut is hanging out. It's, oh, you it's mean I got to butt my shirt up? Okay. Yeah. You know what, Mike? F you, man. Here you go. I don't give a crap about that. Were we just talking about every week about how that one lady does that beautiful Common thing? Common collected in, uh, in the cannabis company in Chippewa Park. 61 year old. Uh, Stacy and Tim. I'm so distracted. We love you very much. Don't forget, by the way, hey, uh, 420. Don't forget about 420. Yes. Okay. Uh, all week long, 415 to 420. Every day they're featuring something else at 20% off. And then on 420 itself, they give away a free pre roll. With every purchase, as long as you're of age, uh, clear, uh, common, uh, uh, calm and collected. <laughs> calm and collected. I'm Look, the one staring at you. I don't like, but I'm know thinking what of myself half about. naked. I'm getting turned on. I'm getting <laughs> on but also, calm and collected. If we, we mention, if they mention us, right, they get another 100 percent off. We're gonna well, but Holly, if you go in and mention us, and you, Holly, I'm gonna get a message okay? later. Uh, also, we want to yeah, thank, right we want to thank <laughs> Wicked Sweet Bake Shop, Wicked Sweet Bake Shop in Kadat. Uh, uh, Eugene and, and Kelly, I actually, Gene answered the Facebook feedback question for a little bit later on. They have got everything you need. And I really want to plug the fact that they do coffee breaks. If you have a company and you want them to supply the sweet stuff for the coffee break, if you ask me and Holly to supply sweet stuff for a coffee break, you'd probably get busted by the cops with, with, uh, with a uh, wicked sweet bake shop. It's real legit sweet stuff. So. You yeah, I what? just saw that they were talking about on Saturdays. Yep. They're doing the donut, yep. whatever, yep. going on. I'm like, uh, we should Kedot. go up there. So if you're heading to one of those shows this summer in Kedot, uh, check out Wicked Sweet Page yes, Shop. Please. And let's check out some effed up facts, shall we? Mike gave me a, 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 a let's check out some effed up facts, shall we? Yeah. I can't stay focused with this. First yeah. of all, the biggest effed up fact of all is the fact I'm sitting with my shirt up, Doug in front of half the world that's watching the show. Yes, ONA fans, I said half the world. Get your first chat room <laughs> over that one. Uh, the average person gets 17 bug bites per year. Holly said, now is that just mosquito bites or every bug? I don't freaking know. I'm curious, only because I'm not allergic to mosquitoes. I don't get mosquito bites. Like, a horse fly bites me and other things, I'll swell up. Mosquitoes, no. I'm just curious, just wondering. I do look good, yeah. though, don't I? I mean, admit it, I look okay. I, so I'm just, I can't focus right now. I mean, I it, I, in a good way. Wait till I unzip my I make, flower. I like, I'm all, you're making me actually uncomfortable for the first oh, no, I'm making her uncomfortable. Last week, my legs were spread this wide. In a good way. Uh, but this is making her uncomfortable. In a good way. After paying taxes, people say family was the second most important thing in their lives. Bobby, my mom, you know, no offense, my sister, I, I unfortunately, my sister and I don't get along. My dad and I haven't spoken in 20, 30 something years. I don't even know. But my mom is my rock. I love my mom. Are we going to have Bobby on the show one of these days? When, starting next week, Mike has gotten enough, comfortable enough with the system. We can do that. I mean, so, I mean, obviously phone call, not like. Bobby's going to, Bobby's going to do something like, I would imagine she will do some, maybe a Passover because I'm, I'm a kosher kid. Maybe she'll do like a Passover treat yeah. or something. Something. I don't know any of that Jewish Bobby's traditional got, stuff. I know nothing. I know the, no, the none theme of it. song during I don't the clock. Know we found out today. I'm like, Mike, that sounds like my bar mitzvah. What the hell is that song? Oh, it's called Little Jewish Yiddish yeah. Boy or something like that. Something What's it like called? That. Little Jew? Little, little what? Jewish Boy. Little, little Jewish, Jewish boy. boy. There I am. 
if I unzip my fly, he would see that song if they up to me. Uh, okay, uh, now, this one goes out to a special someone that knows exactly who I'm talking to. 73% of people nowadays do not know how to parallel park. Uh huh. I don't know anybody. Well, though. you don't even drive. I don't I mean, drive. That's what I'm saying. You would suck at this point. I totally suck but at this. But you have a license. No. You don't have a license. No. But it's legal for you to drive. I can. I just haven't got, because I, I own a car. So what's the point? I can't even afford a vehicle right now at this point. So. Hang on a sec. Hey, Mike, is the chat room telling me to zip up my shirt yet? Are they annoyed yet? I thought. I'm, no. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm about ready to undo my belt, too. I'm going to work my way down. Good thing I wore a dress this today. <laughs> about 1500 oh is that what they're saying oh <laughs> let's get out of there is that where this is going huh stop about, it. about 1500 people will be treated in emergency rooms this year for ping pong injuries how about that what and serious? let me give you one more uh, i don't know which one to give you though let me see here uh oh, how about this one uh Scientists say, there you go, this explains everything. Too much sugar can legitimately make you a dumbass. And there you go. Those are today's effed up facts. Thanks to our pals at Common Collective, Cannabis Company in Chippewa Falls, and of course, Wicked Sweet Bake Shop in Kanad. So uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we talk about a couple of our family members who really help us out? Because you know what? Scorch's PFG TV could not be Scorch's PFG TV without this body, which by the way, I want to thank Apple Chiropractic, Apple, uh, Apple Weight Loss and Body Contour Clinic. Kelly, look what you've done to me. I get out of the tanning bed, Kelly, and I know we don't have your graphic, I'm sorry, but I, I get out of the tanning bed, I look at myself and I'm all jacked and I'm like, I mean, granted, it might not be natural jacked, <laughs> which I'll admit, but I'm jacked and I'm like, God, Kelly, I love you, so thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, Kelly, because I have to You know, we want to right thank on. Mad Computers. Uh, Mike Deck, give it up for our, our family members, Mad Computer. <laughs> Mike, actually, coming up a little bit later on, and depending on how the show goes, either I'll have less on or more on when he's on the show. Mike is our featured family member of the day today with Mad Computer. A uh, Mad Computer, they will take care of everything that you've got as far as your computer needs. They'll clean out your computers. They will give you a special one forty nine ninety nine deal where they clean out everything and they take out the viruses as well. They will sell you brand new laptops. They do used laptops, used desktops. We're going to talk about everything they have coming up a little bit. Mike, Mad Computers, thanks for being part of the show and part of the family. Our pal Dion. Dion at Shilka Flooring. He promised me he's going to come back soon. I was going to say. Remember, he had a good time. When he, is he coming back? He's going to come back soon. He has a family and we switched days. So right. we understand there are certain Farther issues. Farther away. Know. Uh, but Shilka Flooring, whether you have a home or a business and you're looking for new flooring, vinyl flooring, wood flooring, uh, carpeting. See, I didn't realize they do carpeting. I didn't know at first either. Yep. I was just thinking like yep. floor, like wood or vinyl element. Or... Shilka will make floor. The carpet matches the drapes. Oh. Just so you know. Dion and Shilka Flooring, Good thank you know. for being a family member. We're going to have you guys on here as a featured family member soon too. Aren't you watching Sadie? She's telling you to make noise. She does such a good job. We love you. Chris Powell at Diana Real Estate. He was on there as a featured family he's member a, a couple he's years good. ago. He he's keeps good doing dude. great. I keep watching Chris's post, and he's just having a lot of fun with social media. He does. You can tell. I, the new social media fad, you know. Chris comes in, and he's got, hey, check me out at this place. Check me out at this place. And he's, he's won so many awards. He's from the Chippewa Valley, yep. so he knows what the years. people around here want. Whether it is a home, whether you want to rent, whether you want to buy, whether you want to buy a business, uh, Chris has got all. Chris Powell and Diana Realty. Thank for we you. We love you, Chris. Uh, thanks to you for being part of the show. And of course, this is funny. Mike texted me today because I was a little bit late because I was enjoying something from uh, uh, the uh, cannabis company. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Mike texted me and says, what are you doing? You had chickenies with Holly not treating me? Because this is the week, ladies and gentlemen, 
even though we didn't go there for breakfast no. because we couldn't make it there. We couldn't make it. I brought Holly out for breakfast this week to shut her the hell up. I got Look, breakfast and hang, a bloody. Hang on one second. I'm going to try that again. I brought Holly out for breakfast to shut her the hell up. I've been complaining. Yes. Thank you. But I should have brought her to Chicken Eats, my favorite place on God's Green. Like, We're getting there. When you want breakfast, you're paying next time. When you want breakfast, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But you guys go to Chicken Eats. Any of you guys, it's the best. I mean, chick, Chicken Eats, it is the place. And I keep plugging the same things because it's really important to know. So many times you go to a restaurant for breakfast and you get potato dishes and the home fries or the, or the, uh, the, uh, hash browns, browns they're crappy at chickadees. They go through a hundred to 150 it's pounds fresh. of fresh potatoes every single day. Yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but I can put salt and pepper just on the vat of boiled potatoes. And just freaking go to town, you know what I mean? Chickadees, yes, thank you for being part of the family. Yeah. We're going to be doing a breakfast really soon at Chickadees. I'm going to talk to them this coming week yes. about doing a breakfast with Scorch's BFG TV at Chickadees. Okay, now listen to this. We're going to come back in just a couple of seconds. I think we will talk about weird drinks from around the world. Ooh, that's really fun. How much money Men's Health Magazine says guys need to make and I'm going to tell you something. If this is the case, I am effed. Yeah. <laughs> That's about the way that goes. And our featured family member, it's Mike Decker from Mad Computer Services, Woo! LLC. All Bye. coming up in just a few Yay. minutes on Scorch's PFG TV. But first, let's see what's going on in the world of the bars in the area. It's a Scorch's PFG TV pub crawl. We're coming right back. <laughs> Fly. Oh, wait, you said we're back? Oh, crap, Mike. Don't do that, man. <laughs> Holly's like, I'm just staring at waiting for you to unzip your fly. What were the, well, at least you did. That's okay. Thank you. Uh, welcome back to Scorch's BFG TV. <laughs> I'm actually okay like this. I feel like this is going to be the new thing. Every I'm week. almost <laughs> ready to take my shirt off. I feel like you should. I feel okay. I'm, I'm okay me. with myself. Guys, I'm 134 years old. I look in dog like years. I about that. You know? So listen, I, I went to this website. I check out these websites all the time. This one is from Audie.com. O-D-D-E-E.com. Okay. This one here was all about the weirdest drinks. And you're a bartender. Yeah, this I came from the pub crawl, which, by the way, later on, I'll tell bars and establishments how to get on the pub crawl. What's some of the weirdest drinks you've encountered in your life? Honestly, the, the weirdest one, and this one will stick for life, and it's called, according to this person, it's Tequila Mockingbird. Ah, so I it love was that. Patron. <laughs> it was That's Patron, <laughs> Creme de la Menthe, 
and a shot of lime juice. I just it my, literally is like the greenest of the green, but it's te tequila mockingbird. Te yep. Te that's yep, How that was probably one? the weird, and it tasted weird but gross. But I like it was. I could, I could do it. Like what? That's, that's, I don't spit up often. You know, usually I don't spit at all. I made you spit. Ho I know. Oh, See, Holly, I'm gonna make you I'm spit learning. someday too. Yeah. Uh, listen, it's called proof. Sorry, what are was you guys me talking about out there. How did that make you laugh? I'm sitting there half naked. You're giggling out there with a spit joke. Uh, uh, Pruno, have you ever heard of Pruno? And I didn't bring this up. Do you know what Pruno is? Uh uh. Pruno is prison wine. <laughs> oh, never mind. I know what it is. Have I just never heard that term. It's made illegally in the United States. You save fruit from your meals, you yeah. toss it into a plastic Apple bag, sauce. and then you sweeten it with sugar and stuff that you get. So you, you have you I won't lie. I've been incarcerated. So yeah, I actually helped those. You've girls. been incarcerated? Yeah. What'd you get in trouble for? Four syllables? Why do you think I don't have a driver's license? Four syllables? That's why I can't drive. Well, that's three syllables. Three. D D I was thinking four syllables yep. prostitution. Yep, but so, and I'm a gluten free girl, so I was the only one in my block to get applesauce. Otherwise, they get bread. Oh, so I was they wondering. wanted all my applesauce because guess what they can make out of it? Far up. Uh, Jail hoots. The pruna. I swear to God, I was wondering how I'm a gluten free girl, how that came into all this. Because I get the applesauce versus the cakes. So, mayor's yeah. milk alcohol made out of a mayor's milk. Alcohol made out of milk? Semi alcoholic drink. Uh, I got to remember to talk into my mic, excuse me. Semi alcoholic drink, traditional in Asian countries like Mongolia uh, and Kazakhstan, of course. And I know I pronounced that wrong. Horses' That's milk has terrible. more natural sugar than cow's milk. So yeah. mayor's milk. I, I'm going to speak of cows. This is one for you. This is one. It's available in uh, in India and it's available on the market. Okay. Would you, if I were able to get us a sample of this, before I tell you what it is, how ballsy are you, Holly O'Connor? Are we talking about milk? Holly, no, it's a okay. soda. It, it's, right. a, it's, a like, soda. I... it's a soda. So how ballsy are you, well, Holly Ho? You ballsy chick. I eat way more in all no, the no, things no, no, than no, you no. consume. Okay, consume. How things. ballsy are I'm you? I'm ballsy. Well, I feel like. Will you try this if I can get us some? Do you have to film it? What's that? Do we have to film it live? Sure, we're gonna film it live. We're gonna do it live. Would well, you try? Well, if it? you expect nothing more than to me freak, well, I'm down for it. Okay, but just so expect go. the they, ending not nope. to be good. Then believe me, you'll do a happy ending. On oh, this okay. One. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to hook this up. Mike, right. remember this. Write this down. You guys remember this. Holly agreed. I'll do it. She is going to drink from India cow pee soda. I'll still do it. I'm not scared. Would. And you I'm know not, what? I'm if it's scared. good, I'll let you try it again. What's the reason? <laughs> All right. So what do I get to make you try? You made me try those pickled eggs a couple of weeks ago. That was I didn't enough. make you do that. That was anything. enough for me. I oh. wanted to eat them. You know, I want to give you one more because this is really messed up. Listen to this one. Where's it came about one? in 1972. It was in Dawson City in the Yukon. A dude, actually, this is kind of ironic because we were just talking about pickled eggs and stuff. This dude accidentally cut off his toe with a lawnmower. He donated it to a local bar who put it into a pickled egg jar. And people were allowed to take shots. Oh, no. The pickle juice in there? Oh, my of God. Of the sour toe oh. cocktail. Right? I'm not doing that, by the way. You're not even. So you would rather drink cow pee than drink a sour Someone's toe? Someone's toe juice? Absolutely. <laughs> That's, yes. Hey, audience, <laughs> audience, guys, this is good. We don't usually do audience thing. Uh, cow pee soda. Who's going to be it? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Are you, I think you were supposed to yell other words, not woo. <laughs> toad juice. Who's going to do the toad juice? Well, so cow pee soda it is, you know, so there you go. Cow see, I'm not the only one. There you go. Audi.com. You know, give it up for Audi.com. Uh, the strangest drinks of all time. Great. Now I get to drink coffee. Soon enough, we're going to have Holly. I think we're going to bring it to the Blue Marble Pub. One of our old sponsors. One of our old 
the original uh, uh, haunting grounds at Scorch the PFG. Yeah. I think original we're going to bring you probably yeah. starting in a couple of weeks. And we're going to bring you there to do the drink of the week, the yes. drink to help you think. Also, just so you know, and Mike, don't worry about this. So you know, we mentioned Mr. Skin coming up. You know who else is coming back? And we're going to make sure it's right this time. Ha ha! Psychic Bonnie is going to be back in less than a couple of weeks. Live right here in the She is so amazing, Leah. It's insane. Okay. Are you guys ready to hear from Mike from Bad Computer Services, our featured family member? I'm ready. Right. Well, it ain't time yet. <laughs> It's not, what do you, you shoot up Mike? Is no, it, oh. I feel like this, like the muscles, the oh, I guns. Thought, I thought you were like, oh I, my God, I, I was. I need to have a fix of Mike. I thought, look, look. That's what I thought you, see yeah, everything in my switch. mind always geared towards drugs. I don't know why. What's the biggest drug you've ever done? Mike's going, where the hell's he going with this now? Why is that about Holly? Well, this no, I'm going to go with mine. <laughs> What's the most buzz you've ever been? The most drug buzz you've ever been? At the most inopportune time. Can I talk about this on here? Sure. Okay. Um, in 1995, <laughs> I got to try, um, what is it called? Uh, oh my God, my brain. It's not the same. Uh, crank. Crank. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was pre-meth days when it oh, was yeah. like yep. apparently better for you or better or cleaner. I don't know. <laughs> it was, I was a teeny, I was a preteen. That was a really a long time. I was a preteen. Oh, jeez, I was like 114. I won't mention any names, but I will mention one name. I was in my friend Chili's I'm basement. I'm being honest. No, that's cool. I was in my friend Chili's I basement in Hull, Massachusetts, where I grew up. We had a bunch of people there. All of a sudden, one of the kids we were with brought this bag of orange. It turned out to be meth. Okay. So crank. It was crank. It was definitely, he got it from his dad. Truth. True story. I Can I tell you where I got it from? My uh, friend's dad. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not joking. I'll never that's, forget that's it. A thing, His apparently. stuff was rust orange. Okay. It was like red rust orange. If I, you know, you can still taste it. I remember being in the nurse's office at the, I was in middle school. They're being in the nurse's, nurse's office. I got to go home. I can't. There's Bobby going. Like, oh, you know. know what? I've, I can't. I'll tell you, thank you. I'm going to bring up another story quick because of Bobby. My mom's name is Bobby. I love her. She's the best thing ever. Uh, Bobby, uh, people on the radio show have known Bobby for you. Mike wants to meet Bobby. Holly wants to meet Bobby. Bobby. My best friend in the world, Megan, wants to meet Bobby. Everybody wants to meet Bobby. Uh, my mom, when I went home in January to see her, I just want to take a picture. And I didn't expect my mom's like, hi, I'm Scorch's mom. And I'm like, Bob, the camera's not even on, you know. Oh yeah! Uh, oh, that's right. You're, you're... <laughs> my mom came in one day. God. This is, uh, and I don't mind telling these stories because I'm very honest about it. This is part of my life. We got into a car accident on my way home from senior breakfast. We were at the Bickford Pancake House in Braintree, Massachusetts. At the Pancake House, we met a young lady. We're not going to mention any names. She happened to have some blue blot out. Some blue. It was blue mescaline. Okay, so blue. wait, what year was this? Never mind, 1981. <laughs> so it's blue, little pit, little hits of blue acid. Okay. We all took some. Bobby as blue. as we're driving oh. home, there was a guy that was a kid that was in school with us. No names. Just 100 true story. As we're sitting here half naked, we were playing games. We we're all ripped. We we're playing games, going back and forth on the road. And true story. And so all of a sudden he pulls to the left. We pulled to the left behind him. When he pulled to the right, we didn't realize he was pulling to the right because there was a car waiting to take a left-hand turn. We pulled to the to the left lane, didn't see that shit. We ran into we ran into this car. Mm-hmm. Uh, three people in my car almost didn't make it. They were in the hospital for months. One of my friends, we had home back then. What you don't understand is I'm an old guy. I admit it. Back then, we had home speakers in our cars. Oh, and your okay? car were actually metal. Okay? No, this is a wood speaker that ended up in my oh, friend's I'm temple. The car. My, my mom, here's my mom. I'm in the hospital. My friends are wrecked. Everybody in the car was wrecked but me. My mom's coming in, old Jewish woman. 
I'm, I'm gonna keep you under lock and key for the rest of your goddamn life. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my, you're embarrassing the crap out of me. I'm, and meanwhile, I'm tripping my brains out. You're like doing this. Uh, so those are our drug stories are always fun. Uh, you know, I love having drug stories with my pal. <laughs> My pal Jim, who used to be part of the hot dog truck, you know. <laughs> uh, do you guys like drug stories? Everybody has a good drug well, story. Yeah. The, the fun part is, is we all went through that, and now we get are all getting older, and all the stories we have is about how we can't get out of bed, or well, I the, broke the this, or is, broke that, or now I, this is what we're living in the prime of what we used to do, and now I we don't could have never, any prime. Never ever trip again. No, absolutely, like, never, 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 never. Trip again. No, no. I don't even necessarily have some drinking whiskey. I don't necessarily even like to drink. I'll be smoking weed for the rest of my life. Yeah. Well, I have no problem admitting that. You know what? It's helped me through a lot of stuff. Medicine. If there are any dispensaries out there that want to sponsor the show, become family members, give me a call. I'd like to talk to you, you know? Especially the ones that sell real stuff, not that THCA <laughs> that the dispensary in Chicago. Mike calls me and says, hey, by the way, did you happen to check out the bottle of lemon haze? And I'm like, oh, man, I love lemonades. What does it say? It says THCA. I'm like, uh, WTF, man. That's not supposed to be. So. Fired. Men's Health Magazine. I don't quite know where they get this. Because you know what? I live pretty well with unemployment. <laughs> you know, I live with very minimal, uh, minimal needs. We're not, so, yeah, financially needy people. This one here, the men, I love Men's Health Magazine. They got this one on. Except for Scorch's PFG TV, which I'm counting on going on a little bit further. Mike from Mad Computer Services LLC. Uh, 62 years old is the average age for a man to retire in the United States. I want to retire when I'm 62 other than this show. I said this to somebody earlier today, and I'm going to bring up the station, and I'm, I don't usually do that. If the X, if 92.9 the X was the last radio job I had. Oh, it's Riley, our new sound guy. Riley, thank you, brother. Give it up. Give it up for Riley. Yeah. If 9290X was the last job I ever had, I'm going to say this right now. Go on the record. First of all, Scorch and T-Rai was the best radio show I ever did in my entire life. Absolutely. Okay. I have no problem saying that. And the funny thing is, you stupid bastards, we ended up on top. You fired me, and we ended up number one in the ratings, you stupid idiot. So there you go. So, uh, And where was I going with that? Because I was going somewhere with that. But, oh, yeah, uh, retiring and stuff. Retiring. So my Most thing again. is, you know what? If that was my last radio job I have, if I'm able I, – I was in radio, commercial radio, for 50 GD years. True. I, commercial radio for 46 years. I got into radio when I was 14, and I made a living out of it. O&A guys, blow it up. You know what? Was I as big as the O&A people? In some ways, yes. In some ways, yes no. Yes and no. Am I still doing it? Where are they? Hell no. Woo! Yes, I am. So you know what? The bottom line is at 62, if that was my last radio gig ever, I don't know if it will be, but if it was, thank you. Because you know what? I will, I'm extremely proud to say, and me and Mr. Skid and Mike were talking about this the other day, and I'm going to curse here, so if you have kids, don't let them watch this, but you know what? I had one fuck of a radio career, so thank you, Mike. So, yeah. And you earned all of it. Yeah. So you know what? If I retire at 62 and just do the show, so with that bond? why don't we do this with this bond, right? Look at this. Psh, I've almost got a six, I've got like a four pack and maybe like two bottles of wine is what I look at. So, uh, let's do another check out some more family members, okay? Because we love these guys. And coming back in a few minutes, we're going to talk to Mike from Mad Computers. But you know what? J&E Meats. J&E Meats and Lake Helly. We love them because, first of all, and they know this. We talked about this. They're trying to get me to eat meat. I'm not a red meat eater. I'm However, to get them to eat meat. I was blown away above and beyond anything else. I was blown away by their prices. Yes. Their prices are freaking outstanding. They're amazing. They've got sausages. They've got hot dogs. They've got cold cuts. Don's dip. Yep. And coming up in, Mike, what are you thinking? Two weeks? Wheel of meat? Sure. Coming up in less than a couple of weeks on the show, JNA Meats presents Scorch's PFG I'm TV's so for the Wheel of Meats. Yes, I can't wait. Also, we have got for you 
Calm and Collected Cannabis Company at Chippewa Falls. I'm telling you, if you're going to go, this is the thing. People in Eau Claire go to rise to Chippewa. People north of people in Kadat go to rise to Chippewa. People go to the uh, brewery, the big one in Chippewa. I'm not going to mention them until they put their money into the show. You know who you are. But when you're there, do yourself a favor. You want to see one of the hippest, just a plain CBD shop. They do THCA. They've got the vapes. They've got all the merchandise. You want to see a shop that's ready for the future. You want to see a shop that's ready for it to become legal, which for crying out loud, just legalize it already. for it. I'll tell you something. I'm hoping this election brings I'll some, tell you something. something. Common Collected Cannabis Company. I love the fact that they want to be part of the show. I love the fact they're family members. I've gone in there more often than probably any of the other yeah. sponsor members, family members, because they're just a great shop. Uh, Tim and Stacy, we love you guys. Yeah, so you treat you. us well. They'll treat everyone else well. Uh, you know what? Mention us. Shilka Flooring. Cheers to you guys. Oh, and so, yes. Shilka Flooring, thank you. You know what? Tonight, if I keep drinking this whiskey, I'm going to go home. And I said this before. I'm going to go, I'm going to get my dog, Tongo, who I, he's been alone for like 11 hours. He's already peed on the floor. I'm going to puke and vomit. And bleh, and oh, my God. I don't want to pick up this floor because the floor of my house, frankly, is beat up. Actually, you know what? How about this? Hey, Dion, Shilka Flooring, I've got yes. a challenge for you. <gasps> Your crappy floor. Come give me a new floor on my house. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, do you guys understand? You know who owns my house? I do. Uh, I never, no offense to the guy. I've never heard of the guy till, till I you came all know he is. Uh, he's a Grammy winning. I don't want to mention his name. He's a Grammy winning, which he, is the music. Everyone's like, oh. he's a Grammy winning artist that lives here in Oakland. From this area. We okay. all know who it is. He owns my house, but it's run for a real estate company. And I love, believe me, I love my house, but it needs new flooring. Dion, Shilka Flory. Come to my house. Give me new flooring. Uh, we'll put it on the show. Do it. You know? We'll put my it house. I actually what? own my For house. I own home. my home. Why does it always have to go at, at then my house? No, Holly, not your house. Uh, hang on. I want Did, a new floor. <laughs> Mike from Mad Computers is sitting to my left, stage left, uh, stage right. Uh, Dion, I'll tell you what. Holly, you'll sit like this. And I will arrange for you. Oh, I'll do that. For new, all new flooring, I, I, will, I will do that. I will arrange. Dion, but I need something to cover the boobs. You guys in the audience, you want to see Holly do this for a free I'll floor? I'll do it. I am scared. Yay! You, did, you didn't even pay her the 20 bucks for the. Go ahead. I'll do it. Go ahead. I'll do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what? Oh, the 20 bucks no, for the. No, I, no, no. Now I have a dress on. Pull your dress up. Dion, it's just me. I show the floor and thank you. Chick- oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Chickadee's Family Restaurant. Chickadee's, we love you because you got breakfast, you got lunch, you got dinner. I love the fact, forget about the gravy because you know me with my uh, creamy stuff and meat together. Not for me. Other people love it. It's just not for me. But I'll take your biscuits every single day. I love biscuits. Chickadee's has biscuits. Fish fries. Uh, Mike and I uh, have gone to Chickadee's many times and have said while we're there, <laughs> too bad Holly ain't here with us, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're jerks. I don't like them anymore. <laughs> so, Chickadee's, uh, seriously, we love you. And Chickadee's was the one of the very first family members to climb up. Yes. And we love you were. because you we believed in you. us from the very beginning. Chickadee's, we we're love you. One. Thank you so much. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I still can't believe as I keep looking down that I'm sitting on my shirt. I'm the one that has to look at you. I look okay though. Right? You look great. How the comments? If you did like, not look great, I would I be fat? like, dude. Is anybody saying that? Is my mom saying anything? Butt up that shirt. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's probably good. past her bedtime. Uh, uh, my mom is up all night long. My mom's oh, co- oh, my mom's that's a, where you get it from. My mom's a cokehead. Oh, that's cool. I admit it. No, she's, you just said I didn't eight, know that. My mom is not 81 years old, but my mom. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, Bobby. Poor Bobby. Poor Bobby. Poor Bobby. My, my sister goes, get him out of the GD will. Uh, coming back, we're going to talk to our featured family member of the week. It's our pal, Mike Decker, from Mad Computer Services, LLC. We're we excited, come back finally. And Scorch's PFC TV. Uh, by the way, before we get into the pub crawl, May 17th, we are live actually doing a real pub crawl with some of these bars here on the pub crawl of Scorch's PFG TV. We'll come right back.
Hey, welcome back to Scorch of PFG TV. Woo! See, what I want to do is, I want to try this out a little bit differently. I want the crowd to be cheering before I come on. So, so cheer for it. Go for it, cheer for it. Welcome back so to Scorch of PFG TV. So neat. Uh, starting next week, there might even be less clothes on the couch. Holly said, if, if you missed the last segment, poor Mike Decker's like, how the hell did I get in the middle of this? <laughs> Holly <laughs> said she will wear her exactly. shirt like this next time, too, <laughs> if it means she can get a free floor only, from, from Shilka Floor. Only if I can cover the boobies. That also what the works. hell, man? I'm willing to take I'm willing to schlong it. You don't want, I am promise, you don't want uh, to Oh, see no, no, I have no it. doubt about that. But that's besides the point. Poor Mike. Anyway, give it a hand. It's Mike Decker. And he is our... Uh, <laughs> From Mad Computer Services LLC, and this is going to be very unprofessional, but this is a show. Hey, Mike. He knew what he was What camera at. am I looking at? You're looking at the center. Okay, thank you. I love that. Hey, you know, give it up for our pal Mike Snow. Woo! He is everything. Riley J. Connell, give it up for Riley. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Man, we were talking about this off the air. First of all, you blew my wad. I was so bummed out. I said, wow, a computer guy. I know nothing about computers. And here's me. Do you know what I really want to talk about? The dark web. And Mike's like, there's really nothing to it. Man. It's just, tell me about the dark web. Well, and you got to hold the mic right to your face. Right here? There you go. Okay. Yes, he God gets bless it. you. Good job. Well, he knows how to use he the knows. mic, Mike. <laughs> go ahead. We um, love you, Mike. The dark web is really much of anything. I mean, it's it, it want, can be. Do you want to do your shirt? I'm good. I'm good, <laughs> Um, this is a children's show, right? <laughs> no, we're big just, kids we're, only. We're big just childish. Only. <laughs> so it's not. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's there, not what I'm thinking. It, there's uh, a lot of like uh, stores and stuff you can hit if you have the links to it. You can't just stores? go in there and search. Yeah, like you can buy. Yep, Silk Road, uh, all kinds of things um, we'll that talk. you could buy, um, but people think that uh, there's like red rooms and all this crap. That's not really a thing. Because so, for one, what how you access it is through the Tor browser, and it's so encrypted and it pings all over the world before um, it gets back to you. You couldn't stream a video on there if you tried. Is it as bad as they say if your stuff is on the dark web? It could be. I mean, oh, so some can, things get sold on there, like people's identities and stuff like that um, do get sold on the dark web, but uh, um, that get that happens everywhere. I mean, that's that's kind of where we as uh, end users have to be careful with our passwords, you know, change them often, make sure they're secure, you know, uh, stuff like that. No, Don't confused. use the same one for everything and it's not password one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, Holly. three, or I do not <laughs> no, no. do that. I don't do that. Forget Holly, I'm honest about it. Uh, no, 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 I don't mean that, that, but I'm thinking to myself, I use the same password for almost everything. Yeah, don't do that. Well. Bro, then, you hear uh, me talking? You hear me talking about my past. I, I need to remember just one thing and one thing only. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, and Mike and I talked about this before. Mike and I are pretty close to the same age. When I became, how old are you? Thirty-two. He's ten so, years younger than me. So Mike's four years older than I am. Okay. <laughs> but when my mom and dad were in school, and they told me about this. Honestly, when I started in school, when computers came out when I was a kid, yeah, yeah. it was punch cards, IBM punch cards yeah. that had the little holes in them. And the computers that looked like reel-to-reel -reel tape decks yep. that were boop, boop, boop. What transformed, what made computers go from that to really the computer era? Well, if you, Chippewa has a museum, I forget the name of it. Does it really? Um, it does. It's they the have Museum a, of Science. Yeah. The museum. Yep. Thanks, right, Mike. Right across yeah. from Mason Shoe, I believe. Um, they have one of Cray's hard drives that is as big as one of these desks. Yeah, and, it's, so and it's like a half a megabyte. That's and they've so shrunk good. down, and things just change. And you know, and we went from uh, spinner hard drives now to NVMe drives. And that's why machines are so much faster. You know, plus technology just changes so fast. You know. Do you have to? Because for those that don't know, and I mean, Mike's been part of the show. Mad Computer Service has been part of the show from the get go. Do you have to relearn stuff all the time? Like my mom, back in her day, my mom used to was a bookkeeper and a tax expert. My mom did taxes 
for like 800 companies. By the way, to the plus people, wherever you are, there's flies flying around this building. Yeah, there's bugs Get all rid of that for crying right out loud. Now. Um, Got warmer out. My mom used to have to update her tax files and all these things like, like three times a year. Do you have to update your knowledge of computers that often? Well, yes and no. I mean, I've been in, I've been in the industry a long time. My, my business technician has been in the industry for geez, 40 years. No doubt, huh? Yeah. Uh, he worked for Microsoft at one point. Um, but so I guess technology changes, but it doesn't change enough to where I have to like go back to school and relearn everything. Now, like security and stuff like that, that updates, that changes, you know, as far as like what's a threat, what's not a threat. Um, you know, the type of things you need to worry about, stuff like that. So it's not like you're programming. Right. Changes, I don't do any programming. Right. So that yeah. doesn't change. Speaking of that. security, what is or what are some of the most stupid things? And I hate to say it like that, but there are. What are some, okay, let's rephrase it. Okay. I'm going to rephrase it for a business person. What are the less intelligent things people do to themselves that put viruses on their computers? I would say there's a couple of different things. One being impatient. So people don't want to wait or they don't want to read what's on the screen and they'll just click next, 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 next thing. You know, there's pop-ups and, you know, call this number on there. And, and then they let somebody on their computer and then next thing you know, they're locked out of their machine and stuff like that. But um, a lot of times, uh, even like Facebook has those, um, or those quizzes and stuff like that, where what's your favorite, this and that and the other thing. Those things steal all your data. Okay, I was going to talk about that. Hold the mic a little bit closer. That makes sense. Uh, okay. I was going to talk about that. So, and I've brought that up on the show, back on the radio show many times. These Facebook things, not that you know for sure, but is every one of them, you don't want to say a scam, but it, every one of them is there to, to, uh, to harvest your information, right? Well, yeah, they, when you agree to their terms, basically they can steal, they can take your entire profile and do whatever they want with it. Yeah, and who knows how their security is Oof. on their end? I, I mean, do you trust everybody that, I mean, <laughs> you know? As a guy in the industry, should I be offended <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that nobody, nobody's ever wanted my, my identity? <laughs> Yes, I, you should be very offended. I, swear, I, think, I was going to say, that, I'm shocked. Like, nobody has tried to I've thought steal about it. that in the past. Like, you don't, I'm, I'm thinking, like, why, why the hell does nobody want to be me? Well, that's a, I hear that all the time. Like, I, I mean, well, I don't care if somebody steals my identity. What are they going to take? Well, when you have to change all your bank accounts, when you have to change everything, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. No, it is. You know? I, I had a thing that I got ripped off my bank account. Sure. Uh, it said, did you just do a Zelle transaction? Yeah. Yep. And I, I knew it was messed up. I even said to the person on the phone, how do I know that you're not scamming me? Right. Yeah. Okay. As it turned out, he was. Yeah. Uh, and I lost. Luckily, they replaced the money. But that stuff happened. Uh, at this point, truly, I'm unemployed, and I apply for a lot of jobs through Craigslist. A lot of responses I get, you can tell, are scams. Mm -hmm. Well, dear sir, thank you for thank you so very much for your. You don't talk like that. What, what you're looking for are you know, they're typically f foreigners, you know, and you're looking for their verbiage. You yep. know? So basically, when they don't speak English like you and I are talking right now, then you know you you know it's like missing be, words and right. things. I went through that right. for just yep. a rental. I yep. got and scammed. Truly, listen to me. This is a you know. Once again, I'm going to mention O and A. This could be a worldwide show. There's going to be people that are going to rip you off all Absolutely. the time. Yeah. Okay. No matter what you do, there's yep. going to be somebody that's going to rip you off yep. all yep. the time. Yep. That's uh, that's a fact. And uh, the biggest thing that I do is a lot, like my company does for like a lot of our businesses, protecting them from themselves. Okay, so tell you us know. about that. So you do you do stuff for companies. Absolutely, yeah. And you make it so their internet is safe so everybody can use it. And do you, is it blocked? Is that I do a lot of stuff is blocked to a lot of the people? Uh, we set up a lot of rules on, on the firewalls and stuff like that. And it's not like your typical, you know, run-of-the-mill consumer stuff. It's sure, of course very, not. very high-end stuff, very intricate. Um, you know, certain things are blocked. Certain sites are blocked. Like... If a company doesn't want 
their employees on Facebook all day, that site is blocked or YouTube is blocked or whatever is blocked, you know. Scorchonline.com. That's blocked everywhere. You don't, you, you don't understand this. So let me tell you something, okay? When, when me and Mike, when, I, no, when Mike, Mike, started, Mike Snow started taking over this thing, I explained to him, the, sh- the site was originally called, because here's just me being, a, I like puns. Right. The site was originally called Scorch's PFG Spot. Ah. Oh, that's so great. Okay. Yep. okay. Yep. But yep. let me tell you something. So many businesses, people were saying, I couldn't get it in my place of work because of the name, because it was sure. it was firewalled out. Yeah. So well. we changed to scorchonline.com, which, by the way, has over 3 million hits almost. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because of Mad Computer Services LLC. You had to go back to PG. What's it? You had to go back to PG, not PFG. I know. Huh? <laughs> I, I don't like yeah. to do that. What uh, do you get a lot of stuff? And I mean, I can talk. I've told you this before. I didn't blow smoke up your ass. I can talk about this stuff with you forever. Do you get a lot of people that are like, do you get stuff that you have to clean out? That's like, wow, you guys are fucking pigs. Yeah, you know, uh, be honest. And it wasn't mine, well, by the way. It, it, so a lot of times, like, I don't, I don't look at files when I'm transferring some. Somebody comes in and buys a new machine from me or whatever. I don't look at files. I copy folders at a time. Um, so there's been times where phrases have come up, and I'm like, oh, what the well, when he, F oh, is wrong with When he second. brought up the question about, like, what is the worst? I was waiting for the P-O-R-N word, and well, it was not even that. I was like, So what's, no. the, what's the worst question? Be honest. What's the I worst question? I figured that was it. Oh. Well, I won't even. Okay, so that. stuff stuff yeah, like that bad. Okay, yeah, yeah. Stuff Hollywood. If, if stuff, stuff comes Hollywood up that's ass. illegal, I will turn them in in a second. Okay, oh, really? God. Absolutely. Good. God. Absolutely. Yeah, there's. Someone with I'm not three even, children. Yes, uh, daughter. Absolutely. Um, Thank you. I mean, it's there's so many sick people out there. Yeah, there are. But you know, it is what it is. You know. And so, tell us about some of the services you offer. So. I mainly sell uh, business class refurbished machines. Uh, basically, the diff- people want, well, I don't run a business. What do I care? Well, business class, when they're brand new, they sell with a three-year warranty, uh, and the manufacturers aren't going to put the same components in a three-year warranty as they will with a one-year warranty machine, right? So I pick these up right out of warranty, sometimes still into the end of their warranty, and then sell them at a, you know, I refurbish them, go through them, and give a good deal on them, you know? I loved when I went into your shop that yeah. day to talk yeah. to you, you saw me. Yeah. I'm, I'm very much, I'm, as you, for those that really know me, I'm into old TV. Yeah. I don't like anything new. I'm into nostalgia. I was just like, you got some cool old computer stuff. You have so yeah. much old stuff that I was blown away. In the $2,000 gaming system with all the lights over there, he didn't even look oh, at Well, it. because I like <laughs> lights. Because I'm, I'm well, like squirrel, you know. Wow, so that's cool. Are you a busy guy? Are you, so, yeah. are you, are you enjoying yeah. life like that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, in my free time, I ride Harley, spend time with my lady. And you know what else Mike does? And I'm going to be, I hope I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable or feel weird. Mike, how many of you guys here, well, the, the TV audience, you ain't going to be able to applause. How many of you guys in the audience here have heard of Scorch's uh, uh, Pause for the Cause? Yeah. Yeah. So for those that haven't, for 12 years, I started it 19 years ago. I took some time off when I was in California. For 12 years, I've lived in a dog crate. Uh, Sometimes 24 hours a day, up until this past year, 24 hours a day for a week to raise money for animal shelters, uh, for no-kill animal shelters, whatever. Thank you, man. And I appreciate that, so thank you, but that's not what this is about. Uh, When I left the radio station, believe me, and it's going to come out someday. Here's where it starts getting iffy. Mike, can I start a little bit? Is that okay? Your show, brother. Thank you, man. You're the boss. When it comes out, all I can say is, and I'm trying to word this the best way I can, they know even out there what's going to happen. (laughs) Woo! I think we're going to say they know that I can bring them down over something they did with Scorch's Paws for the Cause. Okay. But, no, no, that's okay. 
I, I, I vowed never, ever, ever, even if I was still there, I would never do pause for the cause again if I was there. But I'm here. And you and I talked about it. This year, sometime this summer, the 13th, lucky 13th, Scorch's Pause for the Cause is going to happen right here on Scorch's PFG TV. All right. Now, the reason I bring up Mike, Mike, every single year, Mike not only donates a cash donation, but Mike brings in product for the thing. And you brought in like 500 bags yeah. of dog food this past year. My That's Jeep was awesome. sagging. <laughs> but you know what? That's you're just amazing, such a Mike. cool thing. Just the fact that you're into the animal, you're into veterans. You, I love the yeah. fact that they love the fact that you said you would turn somebody in that's a scumbag. Absolutely. And that's cool because you know what? You hate to say it. There are a lot of scumbags there in this are. world. And there ain't yeah. a lot of nice people in this world, right. you know? Uh, what You said something about uh, you're going to give people $1,000 offers. You're going to give people 1000 bucks if they come. <laughs> What would you say? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm what just here, so smile and nod. We also, I also build custom machines. Um, I build custom gaming computers at almost any price, you know, $1,000 oh. a um, We do uh, upgrades, uh, virus removal, as you've mentioned. I love that. Yeah. Um, clean outs, uh, windows upgrades, uh, different, so many different things. Um, but... Uh, I will do, if you mention this podcast, I'll take 50 bucks off uh, any of our uh, Oh, you did the worst thing ever. It is not a podcast. It's a goddamn TV show. Oh, my You're God. Look at oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Should I just? No, no, no. Uh, you go. Now you got to take your, your shirt off. Your, your, your I will not take my shirt off. You're a family member. I was just this, joking. This is a kid-friendly show. I was show. joking. Oh. That's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me your answer. I will never make you say shit okay, up. That's ahead, all him. So I'll take, all. I'll take uh, all, 50 man. bucks off and you better refurbished take, computer. You better take you, 52 uh, off after that. 52. No, 50, yeah. $52 off. Yeah. 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 You're the best, Mike. We love yeah. you so much. Uh, we do. We love you. It's our we pal, uh, Mike Decker from Bad Computer Services. All saying, Mike, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. we appreciate you. And hang on tight. Oh. You know what, Mike? You can be part of this. This is our Facebook feedback question. And I asked this question. I realized today's show had a lot to do with food. I'm like, you know, I asked a question about ice cream the other day. And I said, I'm going to change that. This question here, and I love it. You're a senior in high school. <laughs> you like this question, huh? You're a oh, senior in high flashbacks. school. Yeah. And you are, Literally. <laughs> and you are driving around, cruising around with your friends. What tunes are you listening to? And by the way, the uh, Facebook feedback is at the Scorch page of Facebook.com at the Scorch page. Uh, I said the Cars Candy O, Good stuff. the Cars first album, yeah. and Joe Jackson's Look Sharp, which I, it was amazing back then, 19, I don't know, 80. Does anyone even, any, anything that he just said, does anybody even know what that is? Sure. I know the Cars. Thank you. The Cars, absolutely. Just making sure. Talks now, Holly, this is not the first time you've heard is. this, but in your face. Uh, Mike, what about you, man? So I was listening to your favorite artist, probably Megadeth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Metallica, Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses was huge. Um, and I think that's when I graduated is around grunge was big. Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream came out. Oh, yeah. Good. Early um, 90s. Um, Alice in Chains. Oh, um, what? Yeah. Uh, dirt. And I still listen to all that music today. Yep, you do. Yeah. Yep, we do. Holly, what about you? I won't lie, I was school. listening to cassette tapes. And did you have your own car back then? Did you, did I have did a have, I did drive, and okay. I had my own car. Give it up for Holly. She, she did drive I at did one time. at one time. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about this thoroughly, but I, I was thinking I had a Devo. Devo was a huge oh, thing nice. for Whip us. Whip it good. <laughs> yes. D-E-V-O. Yep. So Devo, and then it went to like the harder met like metal, like Pantera. Sister oh yeah, Pantera Dow, was nonstop. Marilyn Manson, like all that yep. kind of stuff. Pantera. I was a '90s teenager. Let's so. talk a little bit. You know what? Back on the radio show, okay, we used to talk about this all the time. And really, the question is, when I say give your name and where you're from, all I want you to do is tell me the answer. Tell me your name and where you're from because the show is going all over the place. So many people didn't give me their name Nobody or where they're that. from. Uh, so I'm going to go with the ones that I have that lived up to. Denise in Webster, Wisconsin. 
Led Zeppelin. We can let's nice. take guesses of what year. Nice. Led Zeppelin, Jethro Tull, and ZZ Top. I'm going to say 19, 1981, 82. Graduation or what do you think? About? Yeah, what do you think? Senior year. 79, 80. Oh, that could be 79, 80s, yeah. yeah. Uh, Taylor, Durand High School. Durand, who, anybody here from Durand, anybody? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just Mike. <laughs> Avenged Sevenfold. Nice. Breaking Benjamin and Bullet for My Valentine. Oh, I so guess that age. So you must have graduated like 2019. No, or yeah, I was going to say 2020. Somewhere been around there. a while, though. Laura said, this is a good one. Laura says Skid Row. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Metallica. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's from Chippewa High School, so. Uh, these are these are these are my so she peeps. graduated in like eighty nine. These are my peeps. Ario Speedwagon. Other than riding the storm out, Ario Speedwagon songs. Yeah, they're pretty good. Come you on. think? Got some good songs. You can listen to the greatest hits. Maybe not the entire albums at a time. But oh the greatest hits is or go good. to the casino and watch them live. Boz uh, Skaggs. <laughs> Did I just save it. How about Boz Skaggs? No, I don't know any Boz Skaggs. Boz Skaggs is Lido. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That Lido was on Sirius XM uh, the other day. Genesis. Yep. Yeah. Joe Jackson. Land of Confusion. Springsteen. Yeah. Nice. Rolling Stones. And here's what, because this was a really, back in the day, and this is from Joanne who graduated high school with me in my high school. Back in the day, this was a cool cruising band, the Doobie Brothers. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I love right, the, the Doobie, Doobie Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Tammy and Shatek says Skid Row. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me give you a couple more here. Uh, Wendy in Massachusetts, the Bullet Boys. Oh, yeah. Smooth up in ya. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. There yeah. was two people yeah. that were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> cool in it. Oh, my God. Now, Kippy, Kip Winger and I, we did a lot of stuff. When I worked at Rock oh, really? in Manchester, New Hampshire, Winger did a lot of stuff with us. So, uh, Motley Crue, Poison, yeah. Bon Jovi, Skid Row, Wendy from Methuen High School. You know... I once was at a wrestling match as Vito Carlucci in Methuen High School. I got my head split open. And I went to the hotel room. And the hotel room had, first of all, it had a maxi pad that was covered oh in blood. <laughs> and it was just a, a hairy, just disgusting room in Methuen, Massachusetts. God bless you. So, do I want to do a couple life. more? How about Metallica? Metallica? Of course. Altoona High Still School. Still listen to Metallica. Class of 1992. From Lady Smith. What concerts come up in Lady Smith? I would assume they would come down here. Northwoods Rock. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, sorry. That's not Lady yeah. Smith. By though, the way, it? that's Glenn Flora. I was going to say that's John, Glenn. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right? John's, John's like bullshit. Had you said Glenn uh, Flora. We're going to talk to John from Northwoods Rock Rally in just a little bit. But uh, from Lady Smith, Green Jelly. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Yes. Little, little pig, little, little pig. pig. <laughs> God bless you, Mike. <laughs> Uh, did you know that Maynard sings in that song? Yeah, I did. Yep. From Tool? Here's what. Hey, Nicole, by the way, you got great musical taste. What a diversity. Uh, Bone Thugs in Harmony. Yes. Oh, my. Yeah. Green Day, Marilyn Manson, Metallica, Limp Biscuit, Papa Roach, and Godsmack. Yeah. Hey, Sully, Sully, I saw your sister's name on my phone today, by the way. I just want to let you know that. Uh, so give it up for our Facebook feedback question today. Yes, I Wow. What a fun show, my God. Well, that's it. We're just going to stop just like that. Get out of the Facebook feedback. You are Come talking. On. So needy. Tell you what, we would love, just like Mike, we would love for you. Mike, Mike which one am I looking at? You? Right here. <laughs> what? We would love for you to become a family member of Scorch's PFG TV. We're going to tell you how in just a couple of seconds. But these are the family members right now on Scorch's PFG TV. Coming back, it's John from Northwoods Rock Rally. Yeah. Woo!
for live back at Scorch's BFG TV. Hey. You know, if you want to become a family, a, a family member, if you want to become a family member on Scorch's BFG TV, which I'm going to talk to John about in just a couple of seconds, just so you know, uh, just email Scorch at scorchonline.com. Uh, we've got some great deals. We only really have a couple of sponsorship packages left, which we love. Uh, thanks to all the family members, but we have a couple more available. Yes. We've got stuff for bars and restaurants and tattoo shops as well. So uh, become a family member of Scorch's TV. Please, we love you. Please, we love you. Please, we love you. Olive juice. John from Northwoods Rock, brother, John Kaiser, before I get into you, but before I get into you, John, he says to me, because Mike, Mike, our, our director, producer, says, make sure, because I know you're naked and you love it, but make sure people can hear your microphone. <laughs> I said, I will button my shirt. John says, well, don't get too covered up. So that kind of scares me. But, John, welcome to the show, man. Welcome. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. Agree with the idea, and we're going to get into the world record breaking idea in just a I couple of seconds. I love it. I love it. Let's talk so about exciting. Northwoods Rock Rally. What a lot of people may not understand is that whether it's a two person, a two band show, 10 band show, 20 band, 30 band, or above, it's a pain in the ass to put together. What people see at the end is wahoo, this is beautiful, it's love. But you go through hell to have to book that show. Well, yeah. I mean, it. Uh, <laughs> even for me, you know, on the outside looking in, it looked like this party. I get to throw on a party, and I get to party, and everybody gets to say, that's the guy that gets to put on the party. <laughs> it didn't quite work out like that. It doesn't work that way. But, um, you know, it actually has been an awesome experience, though. You know, not only like uh, getting people that are passionate about music and having a good time together to, to build this thing, but like the bands, my God, I, I can't even tell you some of the stories of diff the different bands that come in and tell me how much they appreciate playing my show. And I'm just like, man, I appreciate you appreciate me. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. And once again, not because you're here. And I told you this last year. Last year was the first time I had the chance to host a rock rally. With Scary Terry Stevens. We'll talk yeah, about that. Yeah, Scary Terry. Uh, your thing has got such a cool freaking vibe to it. Uh, if you've never been to the show, go to Rock Rally. Yes. If you're a band that's never played the show, send your stuff uh, to John to make sure you get the chance to play another, uh, another season because you know what? You've just got a different vibe. And I hate to keep bringing up the other one. There's the big show that everybody knows about. Sure, they're going to do their thing, but you know what? You've got your own thing as well. Do you want to get that big? No, you don't. No. But you still have room to grow, which you know about. Well, you know, the, the big thing is awesome. Don't don't get me sure. wrong. Sure, well, okay. You know, like I've been going to the big thing since I was a little kid and, and like... Me too. The, when, I, when I saw Iron Maiden as a teenager for the first time, I... You know, I spent hours and hours and hours learning the number of the beast guitar solo and all that <laughs> stuff. You know, when I got to see that live, I, I'm getting goosebumps right now just see? thinking about right? it. Uh, okay. Uh, now the, we know his answer to that big, question online. The big thing, the Iron big, Maiden. The big thing is awesome. Don't yeah. get me wrong. That's the way I was with yeah. Pantera a couple of years but, ago. But, you know, what we do is just so special because, like, when you got Rob Rivera from Nonpoint just sitting out in the crowd in awe of yes. the other bands and, like, so I play in a band too called To Be Alive, and we do a bunch of new metal covers, and we do a couple of our own songs too. But like last year, Taproot, we're playing at, at Rock Rally at one in the afternoon, and uh, uh, the drummer and singer and bass player from Taproot, basically the whole band, was standing on the freaking rail, jamming out while I'm up there singing, rocking out. That's the coolest freaking thing ever. Right. I don't care like who you are. Like th you don't see that at any other festival, you know. It's so humbling. Like, it's so humbling, isn't it's, it? It's it's just awesome. And then like yes. backstage, I'm just like, can I get your autographs? Steve? Yeah. <laughs> you know? it's something, and they're but they're like coming up to me saying, Oh, what a great set. Like yes. that's the coolest thing. That is that's so the cool. coolest thing. Last year at Rock Rally, I don't know how the best way to put this. I had some pretty kind bud. I gave it 
You guys understand kind bud, do you? Knock it shit over. Getting excited. <laughs> On the Either subject. Kind bud and it's... We'll just put that drink you over You can here. have mine, of course. I had, uh, I, I gave John some kind bud last year, and he's still fucked up by it. Uh, I gave I gave so many bands some kind bud last year. Every band was walking around there like a zombie. But you, the thing is, you every have, band's always walking around like a zombie. Have, I don't know what it is at Rock Rally, but there's zombie Scorch syndrome. Scorch is there, there now. That's why. You have, am I? What's the matter, Mike? My microphone. Uh, a little bit further back. Further back. I'm too close. Oh, there you You're go. You're the okay. first. I ever. love to see, but it's working. The that's cool. It's ever. just that uh, depth in my voice. You. That's no, what you it, get it. You it, get it. No one depth. else gets it. It's fine. I'm a singer. <laughs> yeah. You had such great bands, and. I'll tell you what I loved about your, your, your concert, your show. The security weren't a-holes. No, yes. no, but what security? Okay, fair enough. That's the point. They're not a-holes because they don't John, exist. John, here's me. Here, it's true. Can I tell the story about it? Okay, here's me. I'm sitting there. Okay, here's me. Ready. I just finished lighting a blunt, and I reek like a son of a bitch. All of a sudden, Always. this cop pulled in going that way. That might be my drummer. It, it was. <laughs> turned around and pulled in next the to me. The a cop. Okay. Hell yeah. Meanwhile, I'm crapping right. Twinkies saying crap. Here we go. John says, oh, it's probably my drummer. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And, and I'm just like, this is devil. That's but yeah, best. it just the, the vibe at your place, the camping vibe. Yeah. It's just a much, a much more chill. I'm not name dropping because this ain't a name drop. I was part of Woodstock 94 and Woodstock 99. And I likened your show to those more than the big show. The big show is too Nobody stiff. burned anything down at my place. The big show is too stiff to me. It's too, yeah. it's too stern. It's too rules. And on your show, hang on. You have to have rules, though, really. No, no. Otherwise, yeah. you will burn I was going to say, in oh, your yeah. show, you have rules. But, wow. you, but you don't have like. One rule. Don't be a dumbass. But you I'm don't saying. have the not. But you don't have the Nazis there to yeah. like to, to enforce them. And unfortunately, that's that's what I encountered at the other place. Yeah. Who will probably never buy into the show ever again. But that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but no, what's the guys. best is you don't have to walk five miles uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill. It's literally right there. You can just stand in one place. If you want to go like hang out with your camping friends, yes. But that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, I don't have to walk a mile that way. You're right there. And no. that's everything. If, if you walk five you don't miles, have to figure it out. <laughs> you're off the ground. It, it, if you walk five miles at Rock Rally, you went next door to the trailer park and yes. picked up some of the stuff yes. they had there. <laughs> but, but I mean, even you know just to see the different so, bands. To see so the what you're bands. saying is that's only five miles. I can pick it up. And, oh, I didn't have to bring this year. Hey, nah. John, hey, John, hang on a second. When, you come back, <laughs> when we come back, we're going to talk more to John from Rock Rally. We're going to talk about a couple of things that we have coming up. One of them is perhaps a band announcement, maybe two. And one of them is the chance at Rock Rally, as I told you, something that when I got canned at the station, I was in the processes of doing. I want to do it at Rock Rally. You have the chance to become part of a world, it truly, it, it, it's easily, will you agree that's going to be easily done at Rock Rally? You're going really? to be part I'm of excited. a Guinness Book of World Records. <gasps> World right. record. And we're going to talk about it when we come back on Scorch's PFG TV. But first, let's say hey to Wicked Sweet Bake Shop. Wicked Sweet and Kadot. <laughs> you know, Wicked Sweet and Kadot, uh, we, they oh, have, of course, they have the cakes. They have cheesecake. They have got for you uh, breads. And they've got rolls. If it's holiday season, they want you to check ahead to order the pre-order the rolls. But I love the fact that last week when they were here, they brought a box of cookies. They did. You missed out on the cookies. Sorry. I did, I missed out on the cookies. So Mike missed out on the cookies. Everybody missed oh, out on the Oh, they brought a box of cookies. So yeah. my friends were here, and they, I had six cookies when I got home. I ate all of them. Almost, okay, five. <laughs> Teresa got one. It was so good. They oh, Really, yeah. I was going to tell you, they're Holly the best the cookies. No. It's a conspiracy. Somebody yeah, I was supposed to. Yes, yeah, thanks, Mike. Yes. Somebody brought me the cookies. For those I didn't who can't do hear that. Her, but yet she's They're bitching so that we don't good. take her out to eat it. <laughs> That's because she's a whore. She always eats our stuff. I didn't say whore. I said horse. She's
I'll talk about that after. Uh, Mad Computer Services LLC in lovely Eau Claire. We just talked to Mike a little while ago. Uh, I found out a couple of things. First of all, the dark web is not that big of a deal. I would, it's like having a Woody and going into a cold, ice cold shower. It's just like, wah, 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 wah. I was, I was so depressed by that. I don't know. You were super excited. You for just got to be enthused enough, man. I, I don't. Maybe, the, maybe if you want it bad enough, the dark web is great. Oh yeah. Just okay. like, just okay. like walking into a to a. And cold apparently, shower Mike knows how to get you there. Okay. So Mike knows how to get me there. So we're I found out though that, that so you guys Silk Road. That's Mike a, does not. Mike does not hack into a couch, even though he that. knows. Let's just say you are a couple. Let's just say I had a girlfriend. Oh! She... oh! <laughs> John and I, I mean, well, I let's did not just, do that. that. Let's no, just was... say I had a girlfriend and she like watched me. me get on the dark web, even though Mike told me it wasn't worth it. And she takes my computer and she picks it up and smashes it on the floor and ruins my floor. And I have to get a new floor. What the hell do I do? I call Silka Flooring, of course. That's what I do. <laughs> Because Dion would understand because Dion spends time on the dark web. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's all. He's not going to be. Full circle. It. That's yeah. how. Thank you. Full circle. Thank you very much, man. See, he understands that. Uh, Dion would understand yeah, because, you know what? He's a flooring specialist. Whether it is vinyl flooring, carpeting, uh, anything like that, uh, give it up for Dion and Shilka Flooring. Thank Thanks. you for being here. Yeah, we love you. Okay. Let's finish talking to John for a little while. So what do you want to do first? You want to talk about the Guinness Book of Records thing first, or you want to talk about what you've got going on first? Well, okay, before we do anything, we have a little bit of time. Tell us about the lineup. Oh, yeah. Tell us about the lineup you have so far for yes. Northwoods Rock Rally and the so dates. Excited. Well, uh, first of all, the dates of Rock Rally, it's uh, the, it's always the third weekend. <laughs> I know I saw I saw a pre-roll back back there. It's a whole box of pre-rolls. What's, what's going on I'm with like, that? I business. thought it was his beverage he spilled. I didn't know what was going on. I'm look, I just happened to look. Oh, out. I just knocked it perfectly into that box. Oh, it was in the box. Yeah. All those are packaging. Yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Carmen. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. Carmen Collecting Cannabis Shop. Thank you, uh, Carmen Cannabis Collecting. Legal. You guys, yes. we're gonna get those on on uh, on April twenty, uh, four twenty. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta come hang out. Okay, tell me more. Anyways. Yeah. So we're we're always the third weekend of of August. Um, so this year, uh, the, best a, show ever. The, the 14th through the 17th, we have uh, um, headlining our pre-party on Wednesday. The 14th is a, a band that's on the radio right now. They have a song called Dynamite that's, I believe, in the top 25 of uh, mainstream rock. Any Given Sin is going to okay, be our, our yeah, Wednesday yeah. headliner. Okay. Yeah. We love the, all the, you guys. the vocalist sounds just like uh, sounds just like Brent Smith from Shinedown. So I really love his voice. Uh, Victor Victor Ritchie is his name. Anyways, uh, Thursday we have Nonpoint. That's yeah. good. She, Robin's the best. Nonpoint. Those are they're my bros. Great those are those are for they're my bros. Yeah, so some of the coolest guys yep. and one of the best live shows you see. We had him here a couple of years ago at Rock Rally. I've seen him at yep. at yep. the other fest, local festivals too. I know Joel had him at Monster Hall last yep. year. Yep. We yep. love Monster Hall. We love Joel. Uh, shout out to Joel from Monster Hall. Shout out to Joel. From Monster Hall. <laughs> Look at that! See, it's all a family. Yeah, it all is. hundred percent a family because uh, Joel and I understand each other in the in the battles that we face, being smaller festivals. But uh, but non non point is a great a great great band. They're just absolutely going to kill it. We got also that night we have Head PE coming yes. to play Rock Rally for the first time. Oh, I love and, them. And coming back to to rally for the third time, I think, since I've had had rally. Uh, Smile Empty Souls coming back. See, that's always good. An awesome band. See, I saw Flaw's um, gonna be there. Yeah, no, Flaw's not gonna be there. Oh, Flaw, no. No, Flaw has I been the last two years. I thought they were going to be there. Flaw was the last two years, but really Flaw's good, Holly. See, see, this I'm is, sorry, why am I mistaking see, this? this? Is, this is a thing, uh, this is an understanding Joel and I have with each other. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Joel's oh, got Flaw. Oh, I'm switching see, That's yep, my bad. Joel's got I'm Flaw. I'm fired now. My and, bad. And, I, and shout out to Chris I'm, from Flaw. Amazing guy, amazing band. 
Uh, I'm sorry. Look at me, a co-host of Scorch's. I PFC screwed that TV. up. That will not screw, <laughs> that will not screw up the bands and the shows. I mean, come on, Holly. Well, there's we're two, all we're hey. all two family. freaking shows, Holly. That's my bad. I screwed that up. No, we're. Good. I'm gonna get. Uh, any other year, you could guess why, and you'd be he right. He gets to wear his shirt shirt open all day, and yeah. I get to make one yeah. mistake. But you know, you know what yeah. band? You know what I band? Do. I'm really excited about Scorch, like Which a band that. Look, I'm 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 a younger guy, but I grew up listening to 70s and 80s metal. Who likes 70s and 80s metal? Okay, so the moment that this band was pitched to me, it was like. Duh, you know, um, this band is a German, like one of the most famous bands to ever come out of Germany. Okay, and they dropped a song in 1981, I believe it was, called "Balls to the Wall." Oh, oh except is going to be there. Except right? the German metal band, except Woo! which which I'm so excited about because those guys they're 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 famous for having a great live performance. Yeah, but, but like. I mean, come on, you know that's that's gonna be that's gonna be really cool. Hey, for uh, the guys from Accept, here you go. Oh, see, the thing of it is, those people know that song, but a lot of people don't know. They who will know that, the band after, yeah. the show. but they will. Yeah, so that's exactly. what I'm saying. I Nobody knows that, that band. They know that. the the now, song. Here we go. Before you announce the band, okay? Because we we want to get into the band you want to announce, but. When I approached uh, when I approached John today, I said, "Here's what I want to do." At Northwoods Rock Rally this year, one of the last things I wanted to do at the radio station was this Guinness Book of World Records thing. The Guinness Book of World Records has the record pasta eating thing between couples, like Lady and the Tramp, and it Everybody was 435 that. couples. So I wanted to do it at the time. I said, you know what? I don't pussyfoot around. I want to make sure if we're going to have a record, we're going to have the record. I wanted to go for 500 couples. Then all of a sudden, I no longer have a job. I can't even afford pasta. So that was out of the wayside. That was gone. But then the show came about. And I said, why don't we do this at Northwoods Rock Rally? I will guarantee you at Northwoods Rock Rally in 2024, we are going to break a Guinness Book of World Records record for the most couples doing a pasta between the two of them uh, eating contest. So give it up for the the Guinness Book of World Records. Hell yeah. Now that ain't nothing because John, and I hope you can still do this, John said, you know, I might even have maybe a band to announce live on Scorch's PFG TV. So this is an exclusive. So, you know, this band has never been announced. It's not on any website. It's not anywhere else. Uh, Let's hear it for John and his announcement, shall we? I'm so excited. What you got, brother? Do you want one or do you want two? Uh, Let's do one. Give me one for now. You you want one for now? now, Give us one for now. He's the boss. Well, so, uh, it's getting okay. uncomfortable. I gotta, I gotta think about this. <laughs> so this, this band, what was it? You didn't think about spilling my crap into my blood. Actually, I had been thinking about that the entire time. <laughs> okay, good. I did. I was, I was like, you know, I'm going to swat his yeah. water. I thought you were going to do yours, but that's <laughs> no, I can't, I can't swat my own. Cup. <laughs> I figured that. what you got? Uh, so, uh, every, everybody knows Miles Claiborne from Saul. He's yeah. the, the drummer yeah. from Saul. Yeah. Okay. And, and we know, we know that he had like some, some real serious, like, like beef with Ronnie Radke yeah. after yeah. the whole, yeah. you know, thing at the, at the festival down the road. And we had, and, he, and he's had some other things with uh, Chris Taylor Brown from Trapped, and you know he he likes to get. Involved. I like that. God bless him. That that dude is awesome. I really have to say, Miles, you're the man. If you're watching, I hope you are. Honestly, uh, your band, one of your bands, should should come on the show sometime. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yes, please get a hold of me. But uh, but Miles Miles uh, let me know here a couple months ago that he uh, was actually starting a new band and he was going to be the front man, the vocalist nice. of this band. And no that band way. is called Left on Red and they are going to be making their festival debut nice. at Northwoods Rock Rally. No way! way! That's freaking awesome. Seriously? Oh. Now, it's going to be up to the audience. You want number two? 
Let me hear you guys say number two. Number two. Number two. Well, you okay. wait a sec. That was the that was the worst. Yeah, you know it wasn't good enough. That was the worst piece of crap I've ever. Try it again. Number two. Number two. Number two. No, I'm keeping going. You know, oh, they, they just hold on, like hold that. on. I, I just have happen? to say, I just have to say, the over unders are here to play later. Okay, let's make some noise for the over unders. I, I did look in their direction while we were asking for for people to cheer, and those guys were smiling, but they weren't cheering. I, I've never, but see, it truly, it's like Mike was holding up the applause sign and just shut it off. I've never heard a crowd. Mike, you don't want us to applaud? I've truly never heard a crowd. I've never heard a Mike. Have you ever heard a crowd just shut the fuck up like that? It's just, it's just they like, just Mike. want it. Maybe it's just that's like, what it is. Crap, they crap, just crap, want crap, it crap, that What do you got? To, give it to us. Okay. Oh, give it to me, John. Give All right. It to me. All right. This is a this is a, an on the moment decision because I have a, a handful of bands that I that I could. Actually, none of them actually I've gotten authorization to announce, but I'm going to do it anyways. You're the boss, though, right? <laughs> Who cares? He's the boss. Yeah. We're not uh, the boss, so. I mean. You're going to get in trouble. It'll, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Uh, but no, uh, this band is a band that I absolutely love. The last time I saw them, uh, the singer Brandon came out of an egg at the beginning of their show. Uh, <laughs> my wife Nicole knows exactly who I'm talking. Oh, I think knows you talking. I know about. it is. I'm not saying they're, anything. They're absolutely, they're absolutely awesome. Uh, I know Motherwind, uh, one of our local bands that are absolutely awesome, going to be huge in a couple of years. Yeah, get some noise, Motherwind. They played our first. They've played with them a couple of times. Um, Crowbot is going to be playing North Hills Rock this year. Hell yeah! That's so uh, awesome. So sorry. If I promise to dress more, wait, say, I mean, the hell would be appropriate. Dressing, the hell would be dressing appropriately. If I promise to make sure my drinks are not spillable, will you come back on the show in a couple of weeks to give us an update? I'd love to. Okay, I, I'd love to. Uh, and John uh, so, to get on the show, listen, we want to. We've got a thing for a pub crawl, which are the uh, bars. We've got a thing for tattoo shops, which are tattoo shops. It's called the Ink Link. We've got a thing for restaurants called Got the Munchies. And we've got the House of Hemp, which is CBD. Uh, and hopefully some dispensaries in legal areas, like Sunnyside in Chicago. Is that right? Sunnyside, which is a really fun place. Give it up for Sunnyside in yeah, Chicago. Yeah, Sunnyside is CBD. Give it up for Sunnyside in Chicago. They may give us money. You never know. So. Uh, email Scorch. You can even email Holly at uh, scorchonline.com. We're going to hook you up. Mad Computer, uh, Mad Computer Services, LLC. Thank you so much for being part of the show today. Thank you for being a family member. Uh, I'll tell you what, there is not a cooler dude in the world to take care of your computer things than Mike and Mike Decker and his whole crew. It's not just Mike. As he said, he's got years of experience, but his crew has even more years of experience. And People make mistakes. You may hit the wrong link, and it's going to pretty much ruin your computer. You know what? Mike can probably help that out. Mad Computer Services, LLC. Thank you for being part of Scorch. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Uh, Calm and Collected, you know what? Even though, I'll tell you, we love you guys because Calm and Collected knew that John from Rock Rally was going to be on the show. He was going to spill water all over their All over their freebies. All over their freebies, and they were going to ruin But no, because they put them in plastic tubes. The same plastic tubes same you will get a free one of on four, thanks, to, thanks, man. On 420, that's what they're giving away on 420. <laughs> that's the best. You're amazing. Uh, See, he's going to come back every Colin week. Collected a natural. He's a natural. Every day of the week during uh, the 420 week, they're giving away another special at 20% off. We love you guys. Thank you. Uh, don't forget about chickadees. We love chickadees as always. Thank you. That's it. One little Woo! Woo! Apparently somebody See, likes See, that was your wife. Uh, chickadees, sure you was know your the wife. thing to do, you puff on that. And then you're ready. You're ready to go have yourself some munchies and chicken. Uh, so John's buying breakfast this weekend. What the hell with your breakfast? No, he's buying they do breakfast. DoorDash. What I like about chickadees is they're probably the only place I go to that doesn't give me a funny look when I say I would like six scrambled eggs well done. Because every place else is, I was like, you want what? 
no meat, no potatoes, no toast. Just give me six eggs, well done. And they do it. Chicken eats. You we want love salt these. in there at least? I like a little salt, pepper, ketchup, salt, and hot pepper, sauce. Ketchup, it's because ketchup it's, and hot sauce. Yeah. It's not on their menu. Okay, they won't hey, want to do Mike, it. Mike, before I continue this sponsor break here, this family member thing. Ketchup on scrambled eggs. Anybody? No. Woo! Macaroni and cheese. Oh, hot sauce on scrambled eggs. Anybody? Hot sauce on scrambled eggs? No. Ketchup, ketchup on scrambled eggs? No. Having nothing to do with anything? Mayonnaise on French fries? Yeah. Fry sauce. Oh, you fry sick s- people. What sauce. the hell is wrong fry. with you? Because you're Storch. not from here, honey. What the hell is wrong with you? Fry, fry sauce, man. What, you know, oh, it's, cra- it's it's crazy to me. My wife my yeah, wife and I were in Utah all winter long, okay? And out there in Utah, they have, if you just go and order a burger. That's all, See? Yeah, that's all it is. I uh, told you. I do remember the conversation from episode one that was talking yep. about the yep. ketchup and mayonnaise. He's been arguing with me about this. You know else we months. love? We love Wicked Sweet Bake Shop because so one of the things that they did, Wicked Sweet know, Bake Shop, doesn't get it. they in Kadak. Holly cost me 20 bucks because a few weeks ago they brought yeah. a frozen hot dog cake to celebrate Jim Davis's birthday. Used to do Davis dogs. They brought this gelatinous cake that still makes me want to vomitate every time I think about it. Hot dog it. water. And when it he had, says gelatinous, it had hot dogs it all the way through water. it. And Holly's just, ah, Holly's all shit faced. I'll give twenty bucks to that anybody to take a bite of this face. cake. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy Max came up and took a bite of the cake. Cool enough. He's like, where's my 20 bucks? Holly didn't he say went anything. up to you. Holly didn't, no, that was a week later. Love Holly me. didn't say anything. Max goes, oh, so I see the way this show is. So the next week, I'm like, here's your 20 bucks. So you owe me 20 bucks. Yeah, he- or I'll tell you what. I will get that hot dog cake. You take a bite of it. You don't owe me nothing. No. You owe me 20 bucks. So. I told you I would give you 20 bucks. Wicked Sweet Bake Shop, we love you. They actually made a we really nice you. hot dog cake. Kelly it was beautiful. made a full cake that yes. was actually a real cake. And it was shaped like a hot dog, and you know, I mean, it was shaped like a hot the dog. Hot dog gel cake was a. Joke. It was the best. It was so gross, a wicked sweet bake shop. Thanks to you. You know we what? We love you guys. You are family forever. What a fun show. Mike, am I on my camera? Yes, you're yours. We have one more order of business, and He's that is the band, tonight. the over unders, and they're coming up <laughs> in just a couple of seconds. On Scorch's P F G T T. They're coming right back. First, let's check out how to get on ScorchOnline.com. Scorch's PFG TV. I love that music, man. I felt like I should really be taking my clothes off. I felt like I was doing a Plano film. Uh, you guys, welcome to Scorch's PFG TV. Ready for the end of the show? You ready to see things happening? 
We are psyched to have this band this week. These guys are the over unders live on Scorch's PFG TV. Oh, 
Hey, thank you so much for the over-unders. We got one more for you. But 10 million pounds of sludge from New York and New Jersey. This monkey's gone to heaven. 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 Gone to heaven. In the sky, you got such a hole. Now there's a hole in the sky. And if the ground's not cool, everything is gonna burn. We'll all take turns. I'll get mine too. This monkey's gone to heaven. 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 The over unders. And with that, we will say thank you to everybody for being on the show. ScorchOnline.com. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we will see you next time live right here on Scorches. Do this with me. 
P F G T V. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye bye.